Hopefully this is the Tokyo Sneakers YouTube channel. Definitely I am Doug and for sure that's my little one year old banging away beside us over there. Uh, she loves she loves times. She sometimes likes to chip in with my videos. Uh, usually I like to you know pop her off to the bed where she'll have a little nap but she's not cooperating today. So we have a background music, background noise from the little one but that's okay. She usually chips in at very inopportune times which is good for the comedy effect. Uh, what it isn't good for is learning about sneakers so I apologize if she interrupts but anyway, today it's all about uh, the Nike undercover collaboration to uh, go together with the, the, day, whoo, the Daybreak uh, silhouette from the Nike brand. So uh, there are two colorways dropping for sure. There's the Blue Jay and the Bright Citrus, uh, but there's talk of five other colorways dropping as well. Today we'll be looking at the Nike Daybreak in collaboration with Undercover in the Bright Citron and the Blue Jay colorways. As I said in the introduction, it's all about two colorways for the upcoming Daybreak from the Nike brand in collaboration with the Undercover brand. Uh, and I did also say that I've got the little one beside me here banging and chipping in with content uh, and lots of noises. Don't worry, she's, uh, she, yeah, exactly. Uh, she laughs at every bump and bruise off, or I say every, most bumps and bruises off. So if you hear a big clatter in the background, uh, I'm sure she'll be okay, fingers crossed. Uh, but anyway, yes, the, the channel got rebranded, hopefully rebranded fine I shoot my content a few days in advance so I'm not entirely sure if I managed to rebrand the, the channel maybe I should rebrand it ga 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 she's saying uh, hopefully it got rebranded as Tokyo Sneakers uh, I am for sure <laughs> you're being a pest I am for sure Doug uh, Doug from Tokyo Speakers uh, YouTube channel is hopefully how this thing is going to go um, and today we're looking at that uh, those those two colorways the, the bright citron uh, citron or citrus I think it's citrus and the blue jay colors now whenever I come up with um, a, a review for you guys that has the same sneaker in many different colorways I don't like to show for example the heel on this colorway the same heel on this colorway the same heel on this color what I do is I'll show the heel of one of them and then I'll show the lacing system them from another and uh, the outsole from another so that you get a flavor of the colorways in each signature part which is exactly what I'm going to do today uh, before we get into that do please hit me up with a subscribe down below I appreciate it very much one of the main reasons why bang uh, one of the main reasons I have this channel is that I'm hoping to monetize it so that I can put a bit more coin in my pocket uh, to make a better life for her down there um, so I do appreciate those subscribes uh, uh, seems like she appreciates it when you subscribe to as well, don't you? Uh, so let's talk about these sneakers now. Um, they, to me, they come in two halves. Um, and she likes it, you like the two halves. Uh, the front half is like your standard $30 uh, Nike sneaker that you can pick up in the ABC Mart or any other store. Uh, and then the back half is just this, this mind blowing back half. Uh, but before we get to that, I wanna just talk about some of the accents that are uh, avail available, which are uh, on this sneaker uh, from the undercover brand. Uh, because what they've done is they're very subtle about it. Um, there has been a trend. You all right? Yeah? Okay, you're okay. There has been a trend in sneakers, uh, running sneakers from Nike recently to sort of uh, put running sneakers together with lifestyle brands with limited success, I, I think. For example, the Gyakso Pegasus, uh, I don't think was a very successful mashup uh, because serious runners don't like extra paraphernalia on their shoes. They like light shoes. And they don't like all these extra fiddly bits. Uh, and that's exactly what you've got with these guys. The front half of the shoe is very simple uh, and lightweight and the back half is, is I don't know, was pointlessly extravagant uh, but before we get there let's have a quick look at the undercover accents on here which are discreet which is interesting because that back half of the sneaker is anything but discreet uh, and the discreet undercover branding on this sneaker comes in a few places one on the tongue tag there you can see uh, a very discreet Nike undercover branding on there it almost looks like what you'd normally see on an SB for example or uh, another Nike regular Nike sneaker it's a very simple looking tongue tag but it does have that undercover branding on it. Also on the insole, if you peek past that tongue tag, you can see on the insole uh, the undercover branding as well. The most striking two places where you'll see the undercover branding is on the mid sole towards the heel of the sneaker where there's a very big section with very clear branding uh, undercover on it there. And then round the back of the sneaker on the heel are just a very simple U on both heels again to represent that undercover branding. Now, if I told you that the undercover branding was in four places on a sneaker, you'd expect it to be overwhelming. 
a bit like those, um, what were those Air Force Ones called that dropped on the, uh, oh, that weekend, the motorsport ones. You remember the motorsport ones that had tons of different sort of uh, little signature marks on them to represent a, um, you know, a, a, a car with all the different sponsorships on it? Um, you'd think that if there were four different places with branding on them, but none of those four brandings really overwhelm the sneaker at all. They're very subtle and very discreet, which is in direct contrast to the heel section, which is quite frankly, god awful. Uh, I have no idea what possessed them to put this uh, heel surround on this sneaker. It doesn't have any place on there. Uh, it's a bit like a LeBron 16 and it's, it's triangular shape, uh, but then um, it also reminds me of a cold wall Vomeros, was it? That had that massive block that stuck out the back. Uh, whereas these ones, it's like, uh, I don't know, the wings on Pegasus or something. Like, the, they stretch out the back of the sneaker beyond uh, the Achilles and the heel section. Um, and they create a sort of triangular effect. But they're extravagant. And uh, to me, they go against the whole ethos of the sneaker. Uh, every other part of the sneaker is subtle and, and kind of um, downplayed. But then you have this weird oh my goodness I, I can't really describe it. pegasus wings shark's tongue sticking not shark's tongue shark's tooth sticking out the back of the sneaker it's a very strange thing to put on a sneaker uh but there you have it that's what they're doing um and hopefully what i've been able to up here is to show you that citrus um bright citrus and blue jay colorways through those different uh, areas where they have the branding on the sneaker and that that interesting uh, heel section there. Uh, what I will do is I'll chuck up a black one here as well, because I've heard this black one's dropping too, but also another four different colorways, but I don't know which ones are uh, in the works as well. Um, surprising to me, the uh, like I said, I don't think the recent tie up between running shoes and lifestyle uh, that uh, some Japanese designers have been trying to um, come up with, I'm trying to choose my words carefully, um, I, I haven't been very successful with the Gaxo Pegasus and then um, the Vapor, uh, what were they called, the ones that I, I reviewed last week, they were Peg, the Vapor Pegs, um, it wasn't a street, Vapor Street Pegs, I think they were called, uh, again, they, they kind of sit, and I don't think runners are all that interested in them because they're a bit heavier than runners want them to be because of the extra sort of uh, accents on there, and then lifestyle-wise, people go for Yeezys and Jordans and the lifestyle-wise, uh, so kind of trying to find the middle ground between there doesn't seem to be very successful and I don't think these guys are going to be particularly successful either but I might be wrong I don't mind being wrong I don't mind people out there telling me I'm wrong and having a conversation with me about it so if you have a difference of opinion about these sneakers be sure to tell me down below and I will not be at all offended and I'll engage you in dialogue about it. Okay, that's enough for me for this week. That ends the week of transition at Tokyo Butter 23 Sneaker Channel as we move into hopefully Tokyo Sneakers YouTube channel. Uh, that is my goal, what I've tried to do this weekend unless YouTube have blocked me uh, and then I've had to come up with a different name for the channel. But starting tomorrow, I will know for sure what my channel name is and hopefully going forward, it will stay that way for a very long time. For now, it's time to sign out and say thanks for checking out my content thanks for subscribing thanks for liking and commenting and all that jazz i appreciate you guys checking in every day and i look forward to seeing you tomorrow